Hi, welcome to this video day, which is on the uh, 6th of June. We're on Tuesday. In today's video, we're going to look at a couple of trade setups. Two minor pairs, but we think uh, they offer really low risk, it's high profit potential. They're going to be USD CNH, so dollar against offshore spot Chinese one, and a one correlated currency, which is going to be the Singapore dollar, so USD. SGD. We looked at USD CNH a couple of weeks ago. We're looking for a breakout to the upside, which occurred. The dollar is going far higher on the one, and uh, USD SGD looks a great risk to reward trade as well. The reason we like these trades is the big fundamentals are out now bearish in our view for the one and the SGD. Now, what we're going to do is going to go and take a look at the trade setups. Just before we do so, though, uh, if you want to learn all our trading techniques and check out our daily technical sentiment analysis of 14 FX pairs, all you need to do, go to the link beneath this video. You can get live access to our member center for a limited time and also join our free educational mailing list if you wish. And finally, you can follow us on Facebook and join our Facebook group of traders. Right, first trade setup, USD CNH. All right, we're in USD CNH. In our last video, we looked at the uh, seven level, which is here. Let's draw it in. And you can see after meeting resistance there, there, we break above it and move to the upside. This is going way, way higher this pair in our view. And in a moment, I will do my levels of entry, stop and target for anyone wishing to be long of the pair. But I want to summarize these five points very quickly here. Just before I do so, I just want to show you um, some charts. Here we are. Um, basically in relation to the Chinese economy, which is not doing well. This is the um, City Economic Surprise Index. It shows how economic data comes in against forecasts. Okay. Now here, you know, it's a big move up. That's after COVID restrictions were lifted earlier in the year. Pent up demand in the economy. Basically, you got a bit of a boost. Okay. That's now all fizzled out and data isn't surprising to the upside, okay? It's clear that China is facing real problems economically. This is manufacturing PMIs, okay? They have dived. This normally leads to monetary easing, um, stimulus, etc., which is bearish for the CNH. Uh, this is another surprise index which has collapsed. And then you've got a really massive problem uh, in China, which is the real estate sector it's just a massive bubble look how big it is that's china housing it's bigger than u.s housing and the u.s stock market put together in fact if you put the bond market on top it'd only be a bit bigger than china housing now china uh property that's where a lot of wealth is tied up or exposed to uh this shows um property market saying in 2023 it's pretty hopefully the chart is clear enough you can see 2023 here okay it's sales in major cities the red line it's way lower than 2019 to 2022 which you can see over here you can see here floor space sold uh, has declined and real estate investment is declining it is a massive bubble okay um china faces big problems. Now, just if I go back to my chart, all right, just want to summarize these five points. We've seen, you know, obviously some charts on the bearish backdrop. Uh, China economy exports are falling. It's an export led economy. The global economy is slowing and probably will face a recession. Okay. So markets have dried up. Lack of internal demand. Um, there isn't enough internal demand in China to make up for falling exports. In the US, GDP is 70%. The consumer in China, probably about 30%. Um, in addition to the property bubble, there's high levels of debt throughout Chinese society. There's also low confidence in China's economic policy under Z. I don't have enough time to discuss it here, but you can look it up online. He's not doing the economy any favors. USD has a yield advantage uh, and China will probably have to ease net liquidity 
which is bearish, then of course you've got geopolitical problems. Yeah, basically US and China don't get on at the moment. If they escalate, it will favour the USD. These are really big fundamentals that are not going to turn around. A lot of people argue that China can. Uh, we're sticking with our view we've had uh, for a few months that no chance at all in the short term. We could have a crash if that property market really, really turns south. Okay. Now, in terms of you are wanting to trade this pair, I'll just draw a trajectory in there. Uh, I think you got support at 710. Okay. And then you got minor support here. So basically, the bodies didn't take out and close above. We do there. Now, stop behind 710. Where could we go to? I'll show you another chart in a moment. But the level, I'll just do this from risk to reward point of view. Um, 735. Okay. So, in terms of risk, it's a grid on this chart against four grids to the upside. But we could go way, way higher. Let me go to another chart, which is the monthly chart. OK, there is the double top. You saw the dollar surge up there. A little bit of dollar weakness and optimism about the Chinese recovery after the COVID reopening. Then that disappears and we come up. We could get above this level. OK, we could go up as high as eight, I think. The People's Bank of China will let the USD rise on the yuan. Why would they want to do that? I personally think it will make their exports more competitive. OK, so I don't think they're going to be trying to keep the USD down. Um, we'll see. But in terms of this uh, pair, yeah, it's coming into a nice uptrend. The big fundamentals support more strength. It's a very simple trade. You don't need to have a big position in it. Um, I'd be aiming for that 735 level. If we break it, um, just run with an open target. Okay. Now, in terms of a one proxy, USD SGD looks a really good risk to reward trade as well. Really like it. Um, we are going to go and take a look at it now. So let's go to the chart. Right, starting with uh, USD SGD monthly chart. I'm just uh, showing it before we go to day charts so you can see our targets. You can't see on the daily chart. Just go through the fundamentals very quickly. Um, Singapore exposure to China is high. We're bearish of China. It's bearish for Singapore and the SGD. Singapore is sensitive to global growth outlook or economic outlook. Um, at the moment, we have a global economy that is contracting, it could go to recession. That is bearish for the Singapore dollar, heavily bearish. It's obviously a major trade and financial hub. USD has a yield advantage over the USD. Um, if the one continues to go up, uh, sorry, go down on the USD, that will weigh on the SGD as well. Uh, just like with um, USD CNH, you did see a big surge up in the dollar. Then you get a correction. You get sort of some choppiness here. And now I think if we can break above this level here, then I think we'll be going higher. Um, and the stop is really just going to be behind the body. But just so you can see the levels of resistance we're looking at, should be towards the 138 level. That'd be our first target. Sorry, let me get my get mouse to work. And then I think. 140. I know there's been moves above 140, but I think 140 would kind of be what I would consider to be fair value for the USD in terms of the fundamentals. Um, it's a really good risk to reward. We'll see it on the daily chart. Let me just go to it. Uh, here we are. So, terms of the USD, a nice move up there. Then we'll come back. We're not really doing too much. This was earlier on in the day. There's been no change in price. So if you wanted to play this one, I'd wait for a little bit of strength. We came in on this blue candle here at 134.80. But we've eased back a bit. Okay, we're basically round our entry point. I think at this moment in time, wait for a break above 1.30. 
135. I'm going to say just clear of the round number, 135.20, and then look for a move up to 130. That gives well over 4 to 1 in terms of risk to reward. Then, of course, you could target 140, which would be somewhere up here. Hasn't done much yet, but I think um, you know, downside is limited, upside is really, really good. So, yeah, there's simple trades. Um, you're trading really big fundamentals, and a lot of people um, are optimistic about the global economy. We are not. Um, a lot of people are pessimistic on the USD as well. We're extremely bullish. I'll do a full video on the USD uh, later on this week. I think the USD is going to bubble higher, um, and that's against a lot of pairs, okay? But I think these two look good. Um, we'll see how they turn out. I uh, hope you found the video useful and thank you for watching.